डियर स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज नोट डाउन दीज नोट्स आर अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ वीडियो प्लीज डाउनलोड युअर नोट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस फोटो रेस्पिरेशन इट इज सी टू साइकिल और इट इज पी सीओ साइकिल फोटो सिंथेटिक कार्बन ऑक्सीडेटिव साइकिल नो डाउन इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी विल क्लियर सी टू साइकिल बिफोर दिस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सी थ्री साइकिल सी फोर साइकिल एज वी नो सी थ्री साइकिल इज यूनिवर्सल साइकिल दैट अकर्स इन ऑल प्लांट्स ऑल फोटो सिंथेटिक प्लांट्स सी थ्री एज वेल एज सी फोर प्लांट्स बट सी फोर साइकिल एच एंड स्लैक साइकिल दैट अकर्स ओनली इन सी फोर प्लांट्स एंड दिस फोटो रेस्पिरेशन मीन्स रेस्पिरेशन एसोसिएटेड विद फोटो सिंथेटिक टिश्यूज दिस फोटो रेस्पिरेशन दैट इज अ करेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ सी थ्री प्लांट्स ओनली नॉट ऑन ऑल नीड स्टूडेंट्स ऑल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम स्टूडेंट्स एंड बी एस सी स्टूडेंट्स this c2 cycle or it is photo respiration means respiration associated with the photosynthetic tissues and this c2 cycle photo respiration pco cycle photosynthetic carbon oxidative cycle that is a characteristic feature of c3 plants only and these c3 plants are not well adapted to tropical conditions at high temperature in these plants this rubisco enzyme this rubisco enzyme at high temperature it undergoes oxygenation no down but c4 plants in c4 plants special anatomy that is current genetic in c4 plants two types of chloroplast dimorphic chloroplast one type of chloroplast in mesophyll cells and second type of special chloroplast in bundle sheath cells c4 plants are well adapted to high temperature tropical conditions but in these c3 plants this c2 cycle or photorespiration takes place this C2 cycle or photorespiration main site of this cycle is chloroplast but for the completion of this photorespiration peroxisomes and mitochondria also required it means three cell organelles not only need students three cell organelles chloroplast peroxisomes and mitochondria associate in photorespiration the main site the main center of this photorespiration that is chloroplast but for its com completion peroxisomes and mitochondria also needed dear students this entire process c2 cycle pco cycle or photorespiration that was discovered by Dicker and Tayo in 1959 in tobacco plant. That is a C3 plant. Not down. It is a characteristic feature of C3 plants only, because C4 plants are well adapted to tropical conditions, high temperature. It is light dependent process. It means in presence of light, in photosynthetic tissues, in mesophyll tissues. in midst of hill cells this process takes place at that time this rubp starts to use molecular oxygen instead of fixation of co2 at high temperature means particularly c3 plants in tropical conditions undergo this process c2 cycle photorespiration at high intense intensity of light more concentration of oxygen especially the concentration of oxygen when increases 2 to 3 to 21% then this rubisco enzyme 
This enzyme plays a dual role. Instead of fixation of CO2, instead of utilization of CO2, it starts to utilize molecular oxygen. It means this Rubisco enzyme becomes RUBP oxygenase. But in normal conditions, when light intensity is low, when concentration of CO2 is small, when oxygen concentration is less, at that time this Rubisco enzyme, it functions as RUBP carboxylase. At that time, this Rubisco enzyme uses CO2, means it undergoes Calvin cycle, C3 cycle, but at high temperature, at tropical conditions, when light intensity is high, temperature is high, oxygen con concentration increases 2 to 3 percent to 21 percent, then this Rubisco enzyme acts as RUBP oxygenase. This RUBP ribulose 1,5 biphosphate that is a 5 carbon compound. And this 5 carbon compound in presence of this molecular oxygen undergoes oxygenation to produce a 2 carbon compound. And this 2 carbon compound is phosphoglycolate. In C2 cycle, after the utilization of this molecular oxygen, the first component is, that is phosphoglycolate, it is two carbon compound. That's why this cycle, this process is C2 cycle. No down. this entire process takes place in chloroplast means chloroplast main center of this photorespiration. This Rubisco enzyme which becomes RUBP oxy oxygenase. It means this RUBP ribulose 1,5 biphosphate undergoes oxygenation at high temperature to produce a two carbon compound. First, after utilization of this molecular oxygen, first stable compound in this process, that is a two carbon compound, and that compound is phosphoglycolate. It is two carbon compound. That's why this process is C2 cycle. This phosphoglycolate undergoes dephosphorylation in presence of water, and the reaction is catalyzed by phosphatase to produce glycolate, another two carbon compound. That's why it is C2 cycle. This glycolate enters in another cell organelle, it is peroxisome. And here in this peroxisome, this glyco glycolate molecule, in presence of this molecular oxygen, that's why the process is photorespiration during daytime, during light time, and the plant uses molecular oxygen. It is, it is respiration associated with photosynthesis, photosynthetic tissues, photosynthetic organs, respiration. Utilization of oxygen. In peroxisome, this glyco glycolate molecule in presence of oxygen it gives rise glyoxalate. The reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme that is oxidase. And this glyoxalate undergoes transamination. In presence of this enzyme transaminase to produce another amino acid that is glycine. This glycine molecule enters in next cell organelle which is mitochondria. Here in mitochondria, release evolution of CO2 means photorespiration during daytime when light is there and the plant, the photosynthetic tissues, the photosynthetic organs uses, these organs use molecular oxygen evolve CO2 instead of fixation of CO2. 
these photosynthetic organs use molecular oxygen and release CO2. It means it is a reverse of photosynthesis. That's why it is photorespiration. Means in this process, the fixed CO2 is consumed. Instead of release of energy, production of assimilatory power, this process is highly wasteful as it consumes energy, it consumes reducing power assimilatory power, photosynthetic power. It doesn't produce ATP energy. And this glycine molecule in mitochondria, in presence of this NAD+, undergoes decarboxylation. The reaction is catalyzed by this enzyme decarboxylase to evolve ammonia, CO2, and serine is formed. This product Sarin enters in paroxysome. Here it undergoes transamination in presence of this alpha ketoglutarate to produce hydroxypyruvate and glutamate. And this hydroxypyruvate undergoes reduction in presence of this reducing power NADH to produce glycerate and NAD+. The reaction is catalyzed by reductase enzyme and this glycerate enters here in chloroplast and in mesophyll tissues. This glycerate in presence of ATP and the reaction is catalyzed by kinase enzyme to produce phosphoglyceric acid. To regenerate this RUBP, Calvin cycle starts when conditions return favorable. When temperature decreases, light intens intensity decreases, auto concentration decreases, again C3 cycle, Calvin cycle takes place. It means this photorespiration, it associates with a photosynthetic organs instead of fixation of CO2. In this process, molecular oxygen is used and CO2 is evolved and here the main center is this chloroplast and other cell organelles which are required for its com completion are peroxisomes and mitochondria. It means in C2 cycle in photorespiration that was discovered by Dyker and Tayo in 1959 tobacco plants in C3 plants. Chloroplast, peroxisomes, and mitochondria are the cell organelles which are involved in this process. Here, this Rubisco enzyme that plays a dual role. When molecular oxygen becomes high, it favors this photorespiration. Particularly, need students note down the concentration of O2 when it increases 2 to 3 percent to 21 percent that favors this photorespiration. But when normal conditions, when CO2 concentration is high, light intensity is low, temperature is optimum, low temperature. At high temperature, this process becomes reversed. Means at high temperature, tropical conditions, C3 plants, they show this photorespiration. But in normal conditions, this Rubisco enzyme utilizes CO2 and undergoes carboxylation and this time this RUBP becomes carbooxylase. So Calvin cycle takes place. In that Calvin cycle, in that C3 process, 3-carbon compound phosphoglycerate is formed. But in photorespiration, when this molecular oxygen is used, at that time, the product is 2-carbon compound which is, which is phosphoglycolate and another carbon compound which is 2-carbon compound it is glycolates. That's why it is C2 cycle. This is all about photorespiration. Photorespiration 
means respiration associates with the photosynthetic organs. And in this process, chloroplast peroxisomes mitochondria are involved. Here, molecular oxygen is used and CO2 is evolved. It means it is reverse of photosynthesis. Dear student, students, it is highly wasteful process because in this process, about 25%, 25% of the fixed CO2 gets lost. There is no release of energy. There is no production of reducing power, assimilatory power. Instead of that, this process consumes ATP energy. But it is also useful as it prevents photooxidative damage of photosynthetic tissues. It also favors, it also protects the plants in stress conditions. When water deficiency is there, when stomata get closed, at that time, this process, during stress conditions, this process dissipates the excess of energy and protects the photosynthetic tissues. This is all about C2 cycle, PCO cycle, photosynthetic, carbon oxidative cycle, dicot tyose process, or it is photorespiration and in next lecture means tomorrow we will discuss CAM pathway.